All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about an MAPC instruction. If you happen to get a error of 13 and an extended error of 10, how do you get out of that, right? So what are the common things that you should look at to actually get out of that? As you see, I do have my system fully running. I do have this servo running on this wheel right here. Uh, this is the MPL servo. This is a Kinetic 6000 drive, okay? So this drive does not matter which, which drive you're using. If you're using SIP motion or if you're using a like a new SIP motion, which is a Kinetic uh, 55 or 5700, or this uh, servo drive right here, which is a Kinetic 6000, you can still use this MPL motor um, or any or VPL or anything like that. This would still be the same cost, okay? So no worries on what the, as far as what we're using. I just want to show you that I do have a working system right now. Um, it's currently working through a state machine. Now I do have mine working, but as I was programming it, I ran into this error. And I wanted to show you um, in exactly where what the problem is, right? So a couple things to look at. First, I want you to understand right here, when you do a cam, like when you start your, when you do your cam profile, you want to you see how mine says it's cam array and it starts at the very first element right so let's just say you took that out then that could potentially cause a problem right so the best practice is always to select the very first portion of the cam that you're using now in my case my cam profile is a hundred so I only have a hundred points which you can see right here if I pull my cam profile up the master is going to 0 to 100 or 99 and then the slave uh, servo right will actually go stay in 0 for a portion of time then it'll start traveling upward and then right around it hit, when I it hits about 30 in the mid 30s I actually start trailing it back down to the zero point and then keep it at zero from that point on. So it's very simple. It's just a one-to-one uh, -one, um, scaling and stuff like that. So in the way I have it set to initiate is a execution mode of once, and then I want to immediately execute the as soon as I tell the you know the, the actual instruction to fire. So um, in this case, this is a new cam actual. Um, uh, master reference I'm using actual feed forward only so only in the forward direction um, so those are a couple things right now if you're getting this error all right I want to talk about that a little bit closer because in this position right here your master where you're starting 90% <clears throat> of the stuff does start at zero however you can start not from zero um, but keep in mind that what the the MAPC instruction, uh, you know, when it, when it has an error of 13 and an extended error of 10, uh, basically what that's saying is your cam lock position is out of range. So where you're trying to lock your cam in, it's out of range from what it's what it can be. And so how do you fix that, right? So once if you actually go into the instruction help, we're going to pull up the instruction help real quick. Go to error codes, right? So instruction set error codes, and we're gonna to go to 13. All right, so 13, they don't really give you the instance of the extended error of 10. They do give you the error of 13. And they're referring to, uh, right here it says get online help or whatever the case may be. Well, that's not re the reason we, you know, really solving our issue, right? So an example they gave you is if you're using an MAJ and you have a 13 and extended error of three which is not what we're doing. We're doing a position cam, right? So motion axis position cam. Um, in this case, um, although if you're, you do have an MAJ and you're running that uh, and you do have a uh, you know extended error of three, it's just probably your speeds that are out of range, um, then you could fix that, really simple. Now the extended error is zero. This means that your uh, instruction is out of, out of, uh, outside of its range. Now, this is kind of vague, right? You think they would set, show a lot more than this because the exact error that I had, and I'll show you this, um, now, the exact error that I had was because I was not starting my actual master at zero. 
I was starting my, I was locking my cam of my master at one. And then uh, uh, to make that matter even worse, I was, I didn't have the first array. So I could go offline and download to this and show you this real quick. So I actually do have a, some, a trend running, but what we'll do is we'll change this, all right? We'll change this to what this was and we'll have this start at one and we have to we have to actually change that a little bit so all right so let's let's go in here and do exactly how i derived my error before now what i want to do at this point i want to come over here and i want to go and download and then we're going to actually watch this happen and then we'll go and come back and fix it right so um when it comes down to it the goal here is to you know help you understand why are you getting the area are the error that you're getting right so the error and the extended error error of 13 and extended error of 10. so um and this, this may help you with other errors and stuff like that too as far as troubleshooting when you're doing a cam or troubleshooting when you're doing instructions uh the point of this is is to really define to that point now i do have to start my system um what i'm going to do is go up here and toggle uh, I do have push buttons, but it's just as easy to toggle toggle this on. All right, so we'll toggle that on. Let the let this start. It's going to go down to four. So it's at four right now, and we don't have our speed set right. So let me change the speed real quick. So our speed is zero, and I do have that the speed select. Uh, just because the way the speed is, um, I have that written to if it's a first scan, I write it to zero. So we started to run, but we didn't have any speed. All right, so we're at five right now. As soon as we go to six, we're going to stop, and then we're going to go to seven. Uh, seven's going to uh, start the virtual axis as a jog, and then we go to our, as soon as the virtual axis is jog, we're going to go to eight. So state eight is going to come in here and now we have our cam problem. We actually have our error. So how I found my error again, you want to go to your tag. Okay. So the motion uh, control, this is your tag. That's the tag I named it. I'm going to go to monitor. Okay. And monitor, I'm going to come down here and see what my error code was. My error code was 13 and my extended error is 10. All right, so other than the short of logging into Rockwell and their knowledge base and you know digging down and spending hours and trying to find the problem, uh, what I'm trying to do is show you how to easily fix this. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna come back in, let's, for one, we can easily come in here and change where this cam starts, all right? So if we come over here, we can change where the cam starts. That's no problem whatsoever, okay? So we're gonna come over here, and then we're gonna reset our actual system. So let's actually go and put that back at four so that it goes to four. Now, notice what we're, what we're trying to do here is for, first fix one problem that we can online, all right? Without having to go all back offline and download. So we will go to this, right? So now it's gonna come to eight. It still has the same problem. All right, so what's the problem? Is it's trying to lock in a position of one. And in my case, the way I have my servo set up, that's just not a good good fit, right? So it's saying it's out of range. All right, so what do we do to fix that? You cannot actually edit the, the you, well, you can write a, you, you can write an instruction to edit the, uh, the cam, but as far as that goes, you cannot edit the cam while you're online. <clears throat> So quickest way is just to go offline. Uh, let's actually go offline right here. We're gonna edit the cam. We're gonna come back here, throw this back at zero. And we're gonna throw that at zero two so that it's back scaled. And then we're gonna hit apply. All right, so with that, we're gonna come back over here. We're gonna download. <clears throat> And I want you to, to recall when, when I download, um, what I'm gonna have to do is being that my speed controls are set to zero, 
um, off of first scan and I am downloading so the first scan bit is triggered off of the actual uh, download process right so and that's done basically to keep a, a safe manner all right so um, if I had my HMI pulled up I could easily select my screen um, but in this case I'll just come in and edit this bit all right so we'll put this at zero and we'll give it some speed we'll put this at three or one um, speed of three so let's sec select that let's start our system and see if we fixed our error this time again um, this is I could push the button but uh, again I would be blocking my arm would be blocking the servo from running so you can see the servo is actually running one direction and I tell it to run one direction I tell it to MAM to another direction and then I come over here and stop that and then as soon as it stops it's, it's going to come in here and actually do, run the actual MHA which is the virtual axis jog so for I do one direction what like 300 counts one way 300 counts another way uh, the opposite way and then I come in here and when it hits again when it hits uh, seven it's going to start the MAJ for the virtual axis then it's going to go to eight when it goes to eight it's going to use the cam now the cam is basically the the this servo this servo right here and it's going to cam itself to the virtual axis so now our problem is actually fixed so we're out of the the tolerance error i guess i the as long as i made this video and i'm sorry i apologize about how long the video is but keep in mind when you are getting this error that you are out of tolerance somewhere right you're out of tolerance either hey right here in the easy point where you can you can change you can say oh well i'm not starting at zero of my array right my array is not right so my cam profile i can easily edit that, that online i cannot edit my actual cam profile right unless you have like a, a the the ability to you know you already you're building the cam with the logic already and that's that's a completely different atmosphere um but if you you're just built the cam and you don't have any kind of logic behind building a cam you just said hey i'm just going to load this from excel and then load it from there then you would need to edit that right just open up excel and build you a new a new cam profile um all i did was open excel and just started to write one two three four and then just copied it down and that's how i built it really 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 simple um i didn't actually come in here and put all these points manually put in these points and then when you do that too when you're pasting what you should do um and again i'll show you this real quick even though we're running i'll show you another little tip real quick when you're doing cams even when you're running highlight all these all your elements and that's when you want to paste okay now this is, gives you the opportunity to change if you want it cubic linear or whatever you want to do um, that's completely up to you how you want it to do that's a completely different talk a different day uh, again to not stretch this video out any longer than it has been to get out of that uh, motion axis position cam error of 13 and extended error of 10 verify that you are working within your tolerances of that actual servo the two servos that are working together meaning the vert in this case my virtual axis and my actual servo that i'm controlling with the slave axis um, again when it comes down to it make sure your array is, is within the values um, meaning you're starting with zero and you do have a good range inside of here now again you don't necessarily have to start with zero but in my scenario i'm running a zero to three 360 uh basically it's zero to 360 and i'll show you this on the trend so let's run the trend it's zero to 360 and as it runs to zero to 360 it will overlap and and start again so basically the rollover is 360. so in that scenario i have to start at zero right so just keep that in mind um, and you will see this is the cam this is the velocity the orange is the velocity and you'll see right there that that is exactly what's happening right here so you see I have my first move to 300 my second move to zero and then this little blip right here is the cam 
and then what it does right here it is turning off the way my logic is I'm turning it off so that's why it shoots up here that's the only reason plus uh, keep in mind the rollover if the rollover is uh, a zero like from zero to 360 you will occasionally see it bounce between 360 and zero and that's what we're seeing right here we're seeing a zero and then it's jumping to 360 and then bouncing back that's all we're seeing so just keep that in mind the first one is a position uh, the virtual axis is on the bottom so just keep that in mind hopefully that was helpful and that helped you solve your problem or it gave you an idea what to look at to solve your problem again i do apologize how long this video was but when it comes down to it servo videos are not necessarily going to be the fastest or resolution when it comes down to things sometimes it's just giving you an idea of what to think about what the cause was i did show you exactly getting creating the error fixing the error on my system again um, and i showed you how my system was set up so with that said hopefully this does open your eyes to how you can fix this on your system and you if you're running into this from deploying a actual motion axis position cam with that said hopefully you learned a lot from this video and we'll see you guys on the next one